There, now there's sirens. Somebody's coming after the person who graffitied. The police are after you. You can hear the sirens. <laughs> um, excuse me. What's up? Oh, uh, why did you end the um, the people meeting? were drawing on the screen, and I had oh. to reset the settings. Wow. How are they doing that? Uh, well, you can't anymore. So. Yes. Well, welcome back, all you playfarers. Uh, uh, two people have entered the waiting room. Everyone, come back. Is someone being rude in the webinar? Sorry. Uh, yeah, somebody was drawing on the screen, and I just reset the settings so that you can't do that anymore. Can we oh, okay. Yesterday. Can we do the quiz? Can we go over the quiz from yesterday? Yes, we can do that. We'll do that first, and we'll dive into the basics. But first, first, element zero is rules, because I haven't gone over the rules. There may be any people here. These are recorded and put on YouTube. Uh, we have advice for worrying about privacy, but yes, it's hard to find us on YouTube because we're not popular. <laughs> uh, I will kick people out for being annoying. That includes spamming, but it is at my discretion uh, so if somebody's saying you're being annoying, you're bullying, I, I still, I'm the judge on that. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> well, I can't enforce no screen graffiti. I can't figure out who is doing it, <laughs> but yeah, if there's an annotate button, don't use it. It's distracting. No one has ever in the history of zoom used it for good. The ability to draw on the screen, they just go scribble, 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 ha ha, you can't see. And that's not funny. No, people use it for good. I know, but like in this, in this webinar, I'm yeah. the only one. <laughs> anyway, classrooms for kids of all ages and skill levels. Today is basics day. We will be going over the basics. Every Thursday, we'll be talking about uh, very, very beginner stuff, which does not include nested anything. <laughs> you can't nest things if you don't know how to use them solo. Uh, don't talk over people. It's rude. Uh, if you're talking over on purpose to be annoying, I might count that as being annoying and bullying and whatever, whatever, but just try and be mindful of other people in general. Okay, sweet. Lightsaber today? Uh, we'll see how we do getting through our material. Um, I will hand the screen over to Miley so you can go over the questions from your quiz. Oh, okay, sure. Let me see. So this is what we're gonna do first. We're gonna go over the quiz. Okay. Questions. So, um, these are the winners. So Jeremy W. Gotham. K. These, these and Rob. I'm gonna mute everybody for background noise. Please feel free to unmute yourself if you have something to say. Okay. So um, yeah, these are the standings. So like, should I go over every question? Go over the questions. Or, yeah. Or the questions that like people. Most people got wrong. You can go over all of them if you like. Okay, so we but you don't have to. Dodge. It's up to you. Uh, Question four. I think. Can you still see my screen? It's it frozen. Said it's loading. Yeah, it's not changing right now. Okay. Um. So, one second. We were on question um, six. Okay, so for question number six. Okay, let's go to question six. <laughs> okay, question six, they'd both be equal because they have the same fill value. To get the darkness, you add up the yeah, values. Yeah. So, um, like Miss M said, you add up the values to see which is darker. Um, for um, the higher the values, the lighter the color is, and like the lower the values, the darker the color value is. So that's why if you put two fifty five, that would be the brightest, which is the white, which is white. And if you put zero, that's the darkest, which is black. Okay. So question <laughs> seven: What is hue? Hue is the pigmentation. It's like the final color. look. <laughs> yeah, it's not the final look. And um, so, does anyone have any questions so far? Or like, somebody says, "Drink." I I have my coffee. Yes, it's in the pretty mug. Water. Okay, keep going. Okay, so what is saturation? 
Saturation indicates the amount of gray in a color. And um, so if you were to go to color picker, what, okay. This does count as basics, I think. <laughs> so yeah. nice segue. Like, I just did some things like, some things were what we reviewed in class, so. Yeah. So like the left to right is uh, saturation, up and down is brightness. Yeah. Like this. So yeah, that's brightness. That's how much white or dark, or white or black or whatever. Left and right is how much, uh, how much gray. What is brightness? Brightness is the amount of black and white mixed into a color. Okay, and I'm happy to know that brightness is the shape. <laughs> Okay, um, the fourth parameter yes, the is here. called in the RGB color value. Wait, what is the fourth parameter called in the RGB color value? It's called alpha. That was a tricky one yeah. because it is also the transparency, but technically its name is alpha. Yeah, but what it does is the transparency. Tricky. Okay, what does the fourth parameter do in the RGB color? You should have said sets the alpha or something. Oh yeah, okay. No, don't do that, that's mean. <laughs> I wasn't that rude. Okay, sets the transparency. Cause like then people could point me out saying alpha is the transparency. Yeah, exactly. It's tricky to make good quizzes. Okay, next question. Okay, what color would uh, what color, okay, that's like wrong, but what color ellipse would show up on the screen? So 625 divided by 25 is equal to 25. Okay, one sec. So it's turned into it's, a math test. Yeah, so it's, <laughs> it's saying if 625 divided by 25 is equal to 25, the fill will be red. If it's not, so else, it'll be yellow. I didn't add yellow. Oh, that's good. So that's how you could rule it out. You can see what the two colors are and figure out what they are. So like, there is no yellow option. So it has to be Yeah, because I got confused. For a second when I wrote the question, I thought it was cyan. So I forgot, <laughs> I forgot so, if it was red and green. Wait, it would be blue. what color would be cyan? Like, cyan which one? would be 0, 255, 255. Oh, like yeah. no red, all green, all blue. Yes. Like the aqua color, I heard? Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, and this one is if 200 <laughs> divided by 10 <laughs> e is equal to 25, then the fill will be mildly blue, <laughs> or else it'll be yellow. So, so I hope nobody thinks that 200 divided by 10 is 25, because that's wrong. Yeah. There's no fives in there. I was going to put two, but then I'm like, that's too obvious. That's also wrong. Okay. That's too nice. <laughs> okay, what is blend color? Blend color blends together two color values together based on... Okay, based on the blending mode, give it as the mode parameter. All right, there we go. Okay, yay. And lerp color calculates a color between two colors at a specific percentage. Anyone have any questions about those two? I think that was a great definition. Thank you for making us. Thank you. All right, is that the end? Yeah. Okay, rad. I hope nobody has any questions about colors anymore because Miley just answered all potential questions about color <laughs> that there ever could be. <laughs> Let me check my basics itinerary. What's, what's going on? Basics, a day itinerary. So with this, I started from like the very basics. Can everyone log in? Is there anyone who can't log in? I have a question. What's up? In the quiz, can we like re do reveal? Like do that quiz again? Yeah. Can yeah, we well, do it? Like, yeah. Right, like not, it doesn't have to be like displayed on the screen, but like, can we do it on the side while you're okay. teaching? 
And Miley, if you want to start another round with that quiz and put the um, code in the chat, we can do that. Uh, okay, sure. Mm, uh, let's just, okay. The ID. I'm sure plenty of you guys have noticed that there is a button that says watch tutorial. It's, and, and maybe you guys have also noticed that it's misleading. I hear you. Yeah, um, it's misleading. Al, I hear you, Al. Uh, we will get to your project. If not today, then tomorrow. Hopefully today, but if not tomorrow. <laughs> okay. uh, so yeah, so the tutorial is not a tutorial on the project. It is a tutorial on how to use the IDE. IDE means Integrated Development Environment, aka the computer's code to binary dictionary. Like it's, it translates this into instructions it can understand. Like if I open up a notepad, this. I've written code in here, but this nothing happens. Oh my goodness, think out loud. Nothing happens if I just put this in a notepad, because this isn't an IDE. This is not an interpreter. Uh, Gotham, you are making noise, so that's why I keep muting you. <laughs> it's just like from touching the microphone or something. Uh, anyway. So you need, in order to get the computer to actually do something based on this code, it needs to be in an IDE. Can you allow like people to share like multiple screens? Multi-sharing, like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I can do that. All right. Uh, and challenges over here. Challenges do not have help code. Shock horror. Uh, you actually have to use your brain to figure out how to do them. Uh, so this is a great place to ask about challenges. I can help you solve them. Sometimes they're real annoying. Sometimes they're easier, like draw the ellipse in a random place. That one's not so hard. You just put random in the ellipse, this X and Y location. But sometimes if you've got a really hard challenge, something that's like the star rating is really high, you might wanna like go forward uh, and do more projects before going back. Uh, for example, bouncy ball has code that lets your ball ellipse thingy bounce around the screen. Like so, and then there's a there's a challenge in milliseconds, milliseconds that says to make the text do that. Uh, I don't have it right now. I don't have it on, but that's one of the challenges. Animate the text. Have it bounce around the screen. If the problem is you can access this one from like the very first level, but you can't access bouncy ball until level six. So I wouldn't know the code to do that until I got to level six. So you can actually just leave it. The reason I said it's approved, but it's not bouncing is because I did it once and then redid my code to help somebody with it. Uh, yeah, so that's how to use it. Oh, Incidentally. I can't, how do you switch to another screen? Because I can't see Miley's screen. Uh, you go to the green thing that says you are viewing Miley's screen or Brenda's screen or whatever. Uh, and there should be an arrow where you can switch your view options. Does anyone see what I'm talking about? Because I actually don't see the symbols on my screen because I'm the one screen sharing. No, I don't still. No, but there's other people who know how to do this. So somebody come to our help, come to our aid. Okay, so you, you click your sharing screen or like you click the green button it will say there's like Brenda sharing screen or like my sharing screen and you click that and you can see you can do view Brenda screen or view Miley screen to choose. Does that help at all? And the code is 913072 so if you want to switch teams or anything you can just say it. Cool. Mm, what I was gonna say is we have a YouTube channel. We have one and I already mentioned it. It's where all the webinars go. So if you weren't listening and you're like, oh shoot, I should have listened. Oh, woe is me. You don't have to freak out. Not that I thought anyone would, but we have, what's up? We have 20 subscribers. That's exciting. We're growing. I just put up a bunch of new tutorials. <laughs> you don't go burr. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I've got, you've got 47 subscribers. Go you, things iPad. So uh, this one is the 
where you, it's like the code for the house where you can switch between the rooms. This one is like switching between images, if statements, for loops. Uh, yeah, I have 312 on my other account. On uh, let's try this again. But yeah, I'm not locked in on this computer. But also, we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about coding. <laughs> so that's if you're looking for a tutorial, that's where you can find it. That's for the challenge of the project. Oh, a big mistake that a lot of people make is they will do their code. It will be beautiful, and then they will forget to submit it. And then they'll be like, why don't I have any points? I finished the project. Let me see if I can find an example. Anything that's purple means you haven't finished it yet. Can I get moved to hurdling turtles? Username? Who are you? What's your username? Like on, on the quiz. We can't move you if you don't know who you are. You just gave me a random name. <laughs> Can you read it? No. Okay, then we can't move you because we don't know who which person to move. Unfortunately. <laughs> if you want to quit and then reload with a different username, you could try that. I don't know. Shuffle teams. <laughs> yeah, you could shuffle teams. Uh, anyway, this is a project that I haven't finished yet, but let's say I did. Let's say I wrote all the code, it was the flash, it looked beautiful, and then I just went save uh, projects. Uh, and then I was like, I checked my dashboard and I go, oh no, why didn't my project points go up? It's because I didn't actually submit it. I just left. I said, bye bye project, don't care about you anymore. You actually have to click I'm done. Uh, and then you can you can reverse that decision. I'm not done. It won't let me do that, but that's okay. It'll let you do that because it gets automatically approved because I'm a coach. Anyway, sometimes you'll have a project that's orange, uh, this color, waiting for approval, and then it will turn purple again. It's because you were marked wrong. You have to try again. All right. Colors and shapes. Whoa, we did that. I'll go over a, uh, a common problem I see. I literally see this problem every single day, multiple times a day. It's in the book project. Wait, in... how do you join quizzes? Go to Q-U-I-Z, I-Z-Z, join a game. I don't see Type your in the code. Speed. Well, then you can follow the sounds of my voice. Go to Q-U-I-Z, I-Z-Z. Click on join a game and then type in the code. <laughs> What's up, Ethan? Is everybody ready to start? Um, I have a question. What's up? So for, um, there was one of the projects called uh, Ben Square. Yes. And for one of the challenges, it says make each circle appear as a different color but I don't know how to do that. Go to the Hatch YouTube channel, okay. click on Hatch Tutorials, okay. Bed Square Beginner Tutorial. Okay. You can click right to the challenge that you want to look at. Okay, thank you. And I, I literally recorded myself for 11 whole minutes <laughs> going over how to do that. So okay. I could do it here. If I would say watch this video, if you're still confused, we can go over it. Okay. I have one for, just so everyone knows which projects I have tutorials for. We have Basic Painter, Apply Random Numbers, Bent Square, Grade Difference, Pac-Man Chomp, Static, Minecraft Pixel, Grass Block, um, Ski Free, Hand of Cards, Minecraft Grass Block, and this is not a tutorial. <laughs> Does any of those sound appealing? Okay, thank Go you. For it. You're welcome. My book currently says Help. Uh, a lot of people get to this challenge add a background and their code at this part um, looks like this maybe not with the text they've got quads and erect uh, Ethan do you have another question no sorry okay no problem so this is what it might look like and then they go okay I can add a background background zero two five five two five five or yeah well that's fine too and then they go oh no where did my book go? It is a disaster. And they're like, they click on the help button and they say, hey, why can't I see my book? 
with 10 exclamation points. And then I say, because your background is covering everything up. It draws it in order. The First, question mark, not exclamation marks. Well, maybe what I was writing was different than what I was thinking. <laughs> uh, quad, quad, rect. Then you put a background on top. Doesn't work like that. You got to put it first. Oh, spooky. All right. Order of the function. Similarly, you have to put the fill on top of the shape that, oh my goodness, people are talking. People are talking. All right. Sweet. Third hurdling turtles. There's, there's a team called dead pigs. That's rough. Anyway, uh, anybody unsure of drawing shapes or filling shapes of color? A team called Dead Pigs. <laughs> there isn't? Okay, good. I didn't think there would be. Uh, yeah, anybody, anybody have questions about anything I've gone over? Probably not, but just in case. I need okay. help with a project. With, with your project, yes. Is there anyone here who's new, like brand new? Um, yes. To hatch? I'm like yeah. kind of new. I need help with a project. Okay. Um, does anyone want to review anything else on this list? We've got uh, how to make an if statement in a for loop, what parameters are, what the how do you use the coordinate picker, the random function. Any of these are is there are any of these confusing to anyone? Or are we good so far? This is why people are like, it's too hard. And I'm like, okay, but if I go back to the basics, nobody likes it. So, <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, I'll answer Al's question first, because he had it. And then, was it 160? Somebody, somebody had another question. Al, which project did you need help with? Vertical timer. All right. Circle typer. Ba, 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 ba. All right, what seems to be the problem? Oh, it says key. <laughs> Take off the quotes. What the quotes do is they say, I want you to write literally these words. Oh, so I'm not supposed to do that? Yeah, if you did random X. It's going to say random X. Right, yeah. But if you say just the random X, then it'll actually display random X. That's how you differentiate between like the words. The, if you want to use a variable wait, or you want to use a wait. word. Yeah? Who's on lazy squirrels? If only one person on lazy squirrel, then that person is winning. <laughs> well, good for oh, that. Oh, works. I'm on lazy okay. squirrels. Wait, who's on lazy squirrels? Yeah. How do I make it capital, though? How do you make it capital? Um, yeah, you can press the shift button and then press your letter. All right. Um, but if you notice, it, it the shift key is its own key. I'm just holding shift. All right. So what you can do um, is you can go JavaScript key codes. This is my best friend website. Shift is apparently uh, 16. You could also just use the word shift. Game. Right. Um, not everyone is done yet, sorry. So you could say, um, if key is not equal to, or let's say key code, code not equal to 16, uh, then we're gonna do the rest of the code. So now when I press shift, nothing happens, but I can press shift B and then it can make a capital B. So it just ignores the shift key. Then you can just do whatever symbols you want and not have to worry about the shift key showing up. But uh, that's your choice. You can also ignore other types of symbols. Like if you want to ignore the space bar, you could do that too. Is that good? Good enough answer? Let me see if it works. Oh, wait a second. It, it's not working. Uh, can you share your screen? Sure. Refresh the page and did you try it? Key code is not defined. 
Did, did, did you put um key co the code um oh, capital C? There we go. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, it's 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 a reserved keyword, so we had to be correct. Wait, but it's well not capital. All right. So next question. Who else had a project question? Why is it not capital? Oh, is it not capital? Are you pressing shift before you press the button? Now I am, but like whenever I don't like, oh, so like you'll, you'll still have to like do it. Yeah. All right, never mind. Wait, um, I have a question. Sorry, can you guys say that not at the same time? What are the final scores? Okay. Uh, Matthew, what's your question? Um, I keep on forgetting, but um, how do you like? When you're um, making a function, like how do you like end it off? I keep on. Oh yeah. That. I'm gonna maybe give you a longer definition than you need to. Basically, this, and I'll show you why. It's this. If you're making a normal variable, you can go like var x equals zero. This is the basic template for a variable: the word var, the name, the equal sign, and then the type of data you're storing in it. For zero, it's very very easy. If this is how you write the data function, or if you're at function, brackets, so this is data of type function. And you can put whatever code you want in here. You can put this whole thing where I draw a heart. You can put the entirety of the game Undertale. You can put whatever you want in this function. Uh, but this is the type data. And then the last thing you see after the zero, I put a semicolon. The, the semicolon is separate from the zero. It just goes on the end of a statement. So to fill in, if I was going to replace this, they were use this template to make a function. Instead, I put var, the name, the equal sign, and then the data type, which in this case is function, and then semicolon, just like the zero is supposed to have a semicolon on the end. So it's exactly um, the same. Yeah, go ahead. Um, is it the same thing? Do I have, do, do I, um, do the same thing when I'm ending a function and it, when, after I'm done my function, do, when it says call the function? So call the function is what I've got here on line 26. So if you think about a function like, uh, fill. Oh. To call the function fill, you write fill, brackets, semicolon. But okay. fill takes some parameters. Fill means at least one number in it to like do anything. So this is a, how I've called fill. Heart doesn't need any parameters. So I can just go heart, brackets, semicolon. If I wanted to call like the image function, it can get as complicated as like image, get image, that's another function inside of it, location, size, and I have to then find an image. But so this is still a function call. At its essence, you write the name, you write the brackets, you put the parameters inside the brackets, you put a semicolon on the end. Same thing for like any function. Uh, ellipse, you write the name, you write the brackets, you write the parameters, you write the semicolon. And there we go, ellipse. So um, the, I have it, one final question. Yes. Um, when you're, um, for example, if I'm doing a bar, um, if I'm doing a draw a background function, when I'm yes. ending the function, do I have to write draw a background or do it so you basically this is a function definition uh this tells the computer what heart means this is where it actually does the thing that i told it how to do like this what's up uh, like after your time can you um, look over like um go over the lightsaber yes so this is the line of code that tells the computer Okay, go do the things. If you don't have this, it won't show up. It doesn't matter where I put heart. I can put it anywhere I want to. As long as it's there, it should show up. If I put a background on top of it, it won't show up because there's a background on top of it. Uh, not because I didn't call it. it. It did happen. It's showing, but then it's got a background on top. So you can call it in a draw function if you want it to happen like often, like a lot of times. Uh, you can put it, you, you can use it in a mouse clicked function so that it only shows up when you click. You can use it however you want. This is the like keyword to make it go. 
it's like you're uh it's i always say it's like when you're in the gym and the teacher's like when i say go and that means like don't do it yet don't do it don't run i haven't said go yet and this is what you're gonna do and then she explains or he explains everything you're gonna do and then she'll say go <laughs> heart is like go now it's time to do the thing i just spent half an hour explaining to you <laughs> okay all oh, right does that help are you still confused yeah. okay cool um we want to look at glowing lightsaber do you want me to look at your glowing lightsaber to like, help you debug it no explain i don't get it all right I see you, Ethan. We'll get to you. All right, let's just code it together. Break it down, break it down. Bar, draw, handle, equals function. Wait, are you going to break that all the way? No, but I'm going to explain it. Okay. When it says create a draw handle function, this is how you do it. Make a variable called draw handle, set it to a function piece of data, put a semicolon on the end. So the variable is draw handle? Uh, yeah, functions are stored in variables just like other data. So var draw handle equals function. That's how you make a function variable. That's how you create a draw handle function. And why did you only put one fill? Uh, because if it's only once, then it is the same thing as if it's for it. Like if you only put it once, it assumes that's what it's supposed to put for every single value. So you, that is the same as writing it out three times. They have the same effect. I know I wrote 157 at the end. Stroke is zero which is the same as zero, 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 rect, 200, 300, 22, 75. I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna call it on the screen so you can see it. Draw a handle. There's our handle. Um, and But we want to round um, the I, edges. I, I think the person who did this, I did it more based on Python because it says create a for loop for i is in range of five. How do you know that's, what they're seeing. Like, how do you know they did it based on Python? Whoa. Should I be doing this in Python? Like, who, do you have preference? No, it just says i is a range of five. That's usually how it is in Python. Like, a lot of projects, like for for loops, it's create a counter i yeah. where it starts at zero. Oh, like, you mean I the is... person who wrote this code? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Less than five, I will yeah, good observation. Five. So yeah, create a for loop. Four. This is how you make for loop. If anyone's confused, you write four. You write the brackets. Write the curly bracket. There you go. But then obviously we're not done yet. We got to write some code. Bar i equals zero. This is where the computer's gonna save its number that it's counting on. Uh, we're gonna say i is less than five. It can keep going while i is less than five, and it's gonna get one bigger every time. We're gonna do. We're gonna draw a rectangle. 320, uh, 320 plus 10 times i, interesting, uh, times i. What? Like, what's times i do? It moves it depending on where i is. So first i is going to be zero, so it'll say where it is. Then it's going to, or it's, it's not going to exist, actually. Uh, then i will be one so it goes where it is it'll be two and then it'll double its position it'll move forward so just uh, just wait till i finish it and you'll be able to see what it looks like so it draws all those little lines on the screen uh, okay I if i change it. this to like 10 it's going to draw a lot more lines cool uh there's my for loop and we'll go ellipse and this is going to be the button 211 320 10 1. rad that looks so small. Yeah, it's apparently not right. I think it should be 10. Yeah, that's right. Beauty. All right, I'm actually going to take this out because it didn't tell me to call it. Create a function that draws a lightsaber with a flickering glow. It's exciting. Bar, draw, saber equals function. Fill, zero, two, five, five, zero. You can change this depending. I'm going to make a Brenda Pink lightsaber. Ah. <laughs> uh, 255, 200, 245. And uh, no stroke. Correct. 200. I hope this is not confusing so far. What so, happens if you put five parameters in the rect function? Like, rounds the corners. So if I call draw handle, 
You see how the corners are kind of rounded? Yeah. Oh, okay. Now they're even, oh, that's, that was the wrong one. I'm going to make them even more rounded. Now it's like a pill. If I take it out, then they're square again. I'll make them like rounded 400. Interesting. Uh, anyway, they just wanted it to be rounded by five. So that's what happens. I'm going to call draw saber as well. Draw saber. There's my lightsaber. It's pink because I'm a girl. Uh, Phil is going to be the same color. 255. 200, 245, except with a transparency of 15. And then we're going to declare a variable brightness. Var brightness equals a random value between 5 and 10. So this line that says declare a variable brightness, de declare a variable, you go var brightness, and then assign it means equals random value between 5 and 10. Random, 5, 10. There you go. Translated. 4 var i equals 0. i is less than brightness. i plus plus. So what this is going to do is it's going to layer multiple rectangles of this brightness over itself. Uh, so it'll change how yeah, thicker yeah. than the transparency is. Rect 190, 90, 42, 220, 10. So there's the glowing part. If I want it to change, uh, let me just refresh. It's going to get like more and less transparent every time I refresh. Uh, it's probably not a good color for this. Let me make the transparency a little bit darker. I'll make it like 25. Maybe that's worse. I don't know. What's up? I need help with one of my showcases. I'll help you after I've answered the questions in front of you in the queue. Okay. Background zero, say draw handle, and we'll call draw saber. And now it flickers because it's changing how many layers of transparency it has like constantly. Does that make sense? Or are we still confused? No, that makes sense. Right? Everybody good? Yeah. Ethan, what's what's up? Um, I have a question with the handle. What's up with the handle? What's your question? Like, I don't get how, I still don't get how you type, times it by i. Like, what is i's value? First, it's zero. Then it's one. Then it's two. Then it's three. Then it's four. So, because it's a for loop. So this will keep, it'll keep drawing rectangles until I becomes five. So it, the computer gets here. It goes, okay, I'm starting at zero. Zero is less than five. So I'm going to draw a rectangle at position basically zero. Because all of this times zero is zero. Now I is I plus plus. So I is one. Is one less than five? Yes, it is. So I'm going to draw a rectangle at position 320 times, or 320 plus 10 times 1. So 10 times 1 is 10. So I'm going to put it at 330. Okay, now I'm going to do I plus plus. Now I is 2. Is 2 less than 5? Why, yes, it is. So we're going to draw it at position 320 plus 10 times I, which happens to be 10 times 2, which is now 20. So 320 plus 20 is 340. The previous rectangle was at 330. Uh, 330, and then 340, and then 350, and then 360, as this number gets bigger. But it'll stop when i is 5. So it goes i is 4, uh, 320 plus 40 is 360. Now i plus plus i is now 5. Oh, well, 5 is not less than 5, so now I'm going to move on and draw this ellipse. That's how for loops work. <laughs> Can I, should I explain it clear? That was good. Awesome. Ethan, what's up, my dude? Did you have a question? Ethan? Ethan, are you there? Do you have a question? Don't get mad at me for not answering your question if you don't say anything. Tell me what it is. <laughs> okay, somebody had a project with a problem with their showcase. Who was that? Yes, Geetha. Thank you. 
And which showcase was it? My house. My house. All right, forward. Ooh, pretty. I like these pictures. Oh yeah, so then. <laughs> yeah, so I around. wanted to remove the button, but I don't know how. But to remove the button? Yeah. How are you thinking of traversing between the houses? So I was thinking like when I, so for an if statement, like if room equals the backyard room is yeah. seven. So if room equals that, then I don't know how to say do not draw a button. Oh, I have an idea. What's your idea? If like room equals seven, then you should redraw everything but that backward button. I have a, a better idea. You can, my, my idea, oh my goodness, I just ruined your code, I'm sorry. What you can do is you can say, if room is not equal to seven, then you draw them. Oh. Or you can just take out only one of them. If room is not equal to seven, then there's no need to go forward, is there? Well, I did the wrong one, but you know what I mean. If room is, if it's any room except seven, draw both of them. Otherwise, draw else, draw both of them. Let me do that. Else, draw both. Oh my goodness, if room is not equal to seven, no, if room is not equal to seven, you draw both of them, and otherwise you only draw one of them. Yeah, no, yes, no, this is the wrong one. If room is not equal to seven, oh, it's because I took it out. Ha ha ha. So now you get to the end, oh, and it only shows forward. Well, trial and error, I don't know your code very well. <laughs> All right, so now you go forward, 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 you hit the end, and then it says, now you can only go backward. You've reached the end. So you can do the same thing with the beginning of the house. You could say, else if room is not equal to one or zero or whatever. Do I like chicken? I do not like chicken. I don't like eating it. It's gross. Uh, did that help? Yes, it did. Thank you. Sweet. I'll leave it like that. You're welcome. <laughs> Anyone else have any quandaries? Um, I have it with simulation L circles. Oh. Simulation circles. What? Which project? Simultaneous circles. Simultaneous. Here you go. Uh, which, which, uh, sorry. Can I look at yours? And what's your name? Like, I don't get, like, I don't get how to do it. Okay, well, you follow the instructions. If you want me to explain more specifically, I'd like to look at your project. I know you don't get how to do it, uh, and there are instructions, so that's, that's for such a basic question, that's my basic answer. Uh, can you give me your username at least? You can find your username somewhere. Maybe not. I don't know. It's unfortunate. Uh, yeah, I don't know how to do simultaneous circles. I've never done it before. Let's see. Let's cr draw circles that decrease in size the closer they are to the mouse's position to create an interesting visual effect. Uh, all right, let's try it. Draw equals function. Background fifty uh, for var i equals zero, i is less than 
400 i plus equals, I don't know, what do we think? 10. Now I'll make another loop. Four var i equals zero. I is less than 400. I, well, actually, it should be j. Just kidding, I'm lying to you. What's up, Ethan? Well, once you're done, I have a question. What's your question? Uh, if you could maybe help with one of the projects. <laughs> uh, there's a challenge that I didn't know how to do. Okay. Which project? Uh, hold a mouse. All right, yeah, I can help with that. I'll make it a position I, J of size, mouse X divided by 10. No, that doesn't work. I, it was such a good idea. Uh, I'll make it like 100, 100. Let's see. Ooh, we need to make there be no stroke. down. Paint circles for, yeah, okay, so they did say, oh, variable, variable size. Okay, let's go. Let's do it. Bar size equals distance between mouse x, mouse y, i, j. Uh, size equals size divided by max distance times 66. What does max distance mean? 400. Gross, I could have figured that out myself. Times 66. Set the fill value to be white. Yeah, okay. 255. Ellipse, and position size, size. Size, size. Well, that didn't work. Distance mouse I, I, J. Form the actions. Well, maybe it's a bigger number here. 40? 40? Oh, interesting. Uh, increments by 20. They want me to increment by 20. Well, it's still not working. I'm actually paint circles. Four, five, I uh, should width. Width. What's width? Uh, I have a question. What's up? For next lesson, can we like. Uh... Can you can I can you tell me how to like connect the like keyboard buttons to like do certain functions? Sure. Yeah, like for the that. basic painter, I figured out everything. I just want to connect the buttons to the keyboard. Sure. To the, like, yeah, we can do that. All right. I mean, I feel like I followed everything the way they wanted it to be, uh, but it's still not working. You've put yeah, no, it's time... e code. It's just I don't know how to put it together. You put time six hundred. Oh, thank you. Here we go. Uh, is that supposed to happen? Apparently not. Yep, that's how it's supposed to be. No, it's not. No, it's not supposed to be like that. Well, <laughs> I like it's time be too bad. It's time 66. Oh, it still does that. Uh, so what's not to get? Honestly, it looks better with the things on the side. It looks as if as if it's melting on the side. Yeah. What's what is our confusion? The width width is four hundred. So that's how you do it. <laughs> you follow the instructions. My old point still stands. You look at the instructions, and uh, and you do that. Variable size. It's distance, mass x plus y, i, j, uh, size, uh, blah, 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 blah. did that right after a couple tries, fill, ellipse, n4, n4, background, no stroke, function of the paints of circles. There you go. Uh, all right. We had a problem with, what was, Ethan, what was your project again? Oh, hold a mouse. Yeah. Hold a uh, mouse. Which challenge are you trying to get done? Um, allow the user to change the image. Great. So you're going to have a, a number that controls what character it is. 
I'm going to set to zero. Uh, you're going to have somewhere an if statement, like a ladder. If num is zero, picture, for me, my variable's picture, reassign it. I'm going to, for the first one I'm going to use is Mickey. The first option is Mickey. If num is one, pick a different image. Picture equals get image my uh, Minecraft craft heart. So you can see if I switch num to one, it turns into Minecraft heart. Uh, so what you should do is you should let the user affect what num is. So you put some options here. You say, what is num? If it's this, it's Mickey. If it's something else, it's Minecraft heart. You can put in as many as the, of those as you want. You can do this infinitely. You could have like every single picture in the image library if you want. And then uh, based on what number is, it'll be a different image. If I don't have anything for two, so. You can make it so that every time when you click, um, it changes, yeah. right? Yes, All right, so I'm gonna use mouse clicked to change my number so that I don't have to change the code. I can just click on the screen, the number will change. So I'll say num plus plus. What that does is it makes number get one bigger every time. So now it's big, 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 big. It's not changing. What I have to do is loop it back around to zero. If num is greater than one, num equals zero. So you look at the maximum number that you have. And if num is greater than that, set it back to the first number that you have. So if I put if num equals three or the next one is two, then we'll make a different picture. Oops. Picture equals get image. Um, Minecraft get Well, too late. <laughs> then I can change this if num is greater than two. Another option I can do if I don't want to use this, say num equals round random zero two. So then it's going to be a random number, but it has to choose one between. And the round is important so that you don't get decimals. So now it's randomized. Can you, can you put, what happens if you don't put random? Can you see what happens? Num equals round zero two? Yeah. No, round. Nothing. No. Because that's not a valid statement. No, random zero two. Let's see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> nothing? No, nothing will happen because it'll never hit one of these numbers. Well, it might. But it'll, it'll only change if it hits into an integer right on, and it's very unlikely to. You have to round it. Yeah, you have to round it. Otherwise, you'll be like, what's happening? I did it right. I also have a tutorial on this. Um, wow. It is, where is it? It's in Coding Skill Boosters, but it's also on the, it's fresh in the feed. It's Modifiable Display. I know that's not a great name. Yeah, what's that series for? I don't get it. Video game series? If you want to make a video game and hash these some tools you might need. It, uh, it looks like you're just making it look like holding mouse. Uh, yeah, but that's- Can you make it so that it looks like ski free or like that? I refer to ski free at the end of this one. And can you make a tutorial on object prototypes, please? Sure, sure. <laughs> it's so cool. Okay, so, yeah. thanks for helping me. You're welcome. I, oh, thank you for subscribing. Much appreciated. Uh, somebody subscribed. I have to go now. I will see you all tomorrow, and I will help with more projects. Bye. Bye. Bye.